you guys and welcome back to another this or that video basically if you haven't watched the first video that i did in this series i compared two perfumes one high end rather luxury high end super expensive to um like a dupe house more inexpensive perfume you can go and check that out today's video is going to be a skincare sunscreen comparison kind of this or that video and we're comparing two sunscreens that a lot of people um have been talking about are very similar to each other and i actually happened to buy both of these products too just for their own um you know like both of them seemed super interesting to me when i bought them i didn't know that both of them would be very similar to each other um but now that i have and when i was using them i did notice a lot of similarities but at the same time some differences too so i thought you know what let me do like a this or that comparison video and compare the dermaco 1% hyaluronic uh, sunscreen aqua gel which uh, by the way this one is a repurchase i have used this in the past but i heard rumors about this being reformulated so i wanted to repurchase it for that reason but you guys this is my second tube i love 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 this product and another super duper hyped up uh, sunscreen that i heard a lot of people talk about i did hear some bad things about this one too this is the ultra the micro encapsulated technology hybrid sun fluid ultra defense spf 50 now this one i had heard has some shimmer particles in it which i personally did not notice my tube have any sort of shimmer particles but i did hear a couple of people compare these two and talk about the similarities of these so i thought you know what let me do like a comparison um video on these and tell you what is similar in them what is different in them so basically what i did today is i did a side by side i applied this on one side of my face and this on the other side obviously it's under all of this makeup um so yeah in this video i am going to be comparing and showing you application clips how these apply how these look on the skin and what are the similarities as well as differences in these two products so yes in case you're interested in checking that out please keep on watching this video and now i'm going to take you through the application clips and me talking more in detail about these products so yes let's go Okay you okay. guys so I have both my sunscreens here right? I'm going to do one half with one sunscreen and take one finger like one finger jitna quantity um of this one and then the same obviously on this side with this sunscreen so yeah here we go I'm also going to try and use different fingers for both so this is my Dermaco sunscreen that I'm going to apply with my pointer finger on this half of my face um based on my experience of using them on their own um i can definitely tell that the earth rhythm sunscreen is way more uh greasier of sorts like greasier looking on the skin where is the dermaco one kind of might look a little bit more um like dewy shiny initially but it doesn't make you look oily like when i'm wearing the earth rhythm throughout the day without any makeup people literally ask me why does your skin look so dewy are you like sweating or something go wash your face um because they assume it is sweat so yeah the earth rhythm one basis of like my experience with it has been too dewy for me but i'm going to show you in comparison like right now i have only moisturizer on this side which is why my skin looks more matte on this side whereas this side it looks more dewy but when we get the earth rhythm on the face this side is going to be like dewy 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 so this is my other finger and i'm going to get some earth rhythm sunscreen on this side So far, 
so good actually because it did blend into the skin very well that's something that i have to say about both is that they don't really leave any sort of white cast and they do get absorbed pretty quickly into the skin so this is what my dermaco side looks like and this is what my ultradum side looks like if i'm being completely honest at least looking at the phone screen i cannot really tell that i've used two different sunscreens on both side that being said this side maybe because i applied product here later and here i applied first that's why this side feels a little wet so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait a couple of minutes um let them sink in and absorb and maybe i'm going to come back in half an hour and do another check in and like show you what both the sides look like so see you in the next 30 minutes Hey guys, it's almost been a little bit over 45 minutes since you last saw me, and in the past 45 minutes, I can very clearly tell that this side is a little bit more on the dewy side, but the dew on this side is no comparison. Like, um, I feel like today my skin probably does not look as shiny and oily, but like when you have the Ultradum sunscreen on your whole face. you literally look like you just got out of like doing a one hour workout and you're absolutely sweating to your core like that's how your whole face looks like I, but i do definitely feel like it doesn't look as oily and i would say that if you are someone who likes a dewy glow then both of these sunscreens are for you it just depends on how much dewy glow you want if you want a healthy amount of glow but not but you don't want to look oily then i feel like this is the one but if you have more dry skin and you want that glass skin super dewy glowy look then this would be the sunscreen for you for me personally i would definitely choose the dermaco sunscreen for sure this is one that i've been using even in the summer and i have absolutely no problem but the other the one i would never ever use in the summer for sure i might use this in the monsoon or i'll just save this in my collection and bring it out in the winter and that's when i'll use it because i don't have the guts to wear this right now specifically because it's anyway so hot and i anyways get so sweaty i can't imagine how sweaty i will look if i have this on in the summer so yeah those are my thoughts on these i will say though that both of these are on the more affordable side this one i know is close to around 500 rupees yeah it's 499 for 50 grams of product which is pretty affordable and you can get Dermaco at discounts whereas this one you definitely don't need to pay full price for this is a little bit more on the pricey side i think it's around 500 600 bucks but again you can get this at 50% off or like a buy one get one free sale situation on author them i also do have an, a discount code with author them which saves you 5% off it's not an affiliated code it's a non affiliate code but you can save an additional 5% off on this one if you want to i'm going to have my code linked down below in the description box not linked but like i'm going to leave the code in the description box in case you want to check it out but yes i would personally still recommend the dermaco one you know basis of my personal recommendation and experience and this is the one that is going to be my pick but yes i hope that you guys got a good idea as to which one would be more suitable for you if you have any questions you can leave them down below in the comments and i will get back to you as soon as i read your comment but uh, yeah that's it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys until next time bye bye bye